Yeah, so I, I'm of two minds there. First, I think it's great. It's great. Uh, I think, as I understand it, Brian Cox is more famous for what he does in the UK than Carl Sagan ever was, even in the United States. Brian Cox also, having been a literal rock star for having a number one song on the charts, what was it? Things will get better. There's some. So I think this is all. I mean, why? I can't imagine life without it. But the other side of me says, it should never be that singular. It shouldn't require the one person who makes it all work. There should be a hundred people on that landscape. It's with great pleasure that we would like to once again introduce you to our most recent video. Within today's conversation, we'll discuss the surprising reality of Brian Cox and Neil deGrasse Tyson. These two individuals are among the most well-known astrophysicists in the world at the present time. They're both well-known in their own right and have made some substantial contributions to the area of astrophysics. Both of them have become household names. On the other hand, more recently, Neil deGrasse Tyson disclosed a terrible fact about Brian Cox, which has left a great number of people speechless. As a result of the disclosure that Neil deGrasse Tyson made regarding Brian Cox, there's been a great deal of debate among the scientific community. Despite the fact that Brian Cox is actually not an astrophysicist, he's nevertheless a highly regarded physicist who has made major contributions to the sector in which he works. Even though the two sectors are connected to one another, it's essential to keep in mind that they're not necessarily the same and call for separate areas of competence. Because of his efforts, Brian Cox has been able to make science more accessible to the general public and has inspired a new generation of scientists. For this, he deserves praise. Come on. Let's see what we have in store for you. So make sure you stay tuned and let's get this party started. Now there are two important personalities who stand tall in the fascinating field of astrophysics, which is where the mysteries of the universe are revealed. These figures are Brian Cox and Neil deGrasse Tyson. In addition to being well known for their intriguing explanations of the cosmos, these scientists have become household names and their discoveries continue to captivate minds. On the other hand, a recent admission by Neil deGrasse Tyson has caused shockwaves to spread across the scientific world. This discovery has thrown light on the interesting dynamics that exist between the two well-known astrophysicists. All of this started when Tyson made an appearance on a well-known podcast, where he discussed the inner workings of the scientific community and the dynamics that occur behind the scenes. Tyson was prompted to reveal some stunning details about his colleague when the presenter brought up the subject of Brian Cox, which caused the discussion to take an unexpected turn. The ever-eloquent speaker that Tyson is, he started out by recognizing the unquestionable contributions that Cox has made to the field of astrophysics. With his revolutionary work at CERN and his critically acclaimed films, Cox has been a significant contributor to the process of making difficult scientific ideas understandable to the general public. On the other hand, Tyson made a veiled reference to a quiet competition that has been brewing below the surface which calls into question the idea that members of the scientific community can live peacefully. The revelation concentrated on the fact that they had contradictory viewpoints about certain cosmological occurrences. Tyson, who's renowned for his candor, made a passing reference to instances of intellectual strife, highlighting the fact that the differences in the scientific community are not uncommon, but are normally reserved for private discussion. A collision of cosmic philosophies between the two luminaries was indicated by the severity of these disputes, which surprised the audience members who were listening to the conversation. Tyson provided a picture of the surprising fact that it was not a story of hostility, but rather a story of different cosmic ideologies competing with one another. As a result of his captivating narrative and his focus on the lyrical beauty of the cosmos, Cox often navigates the heavenly environment with a touch of romance. Tyson, on the other hand, is an astrophysicist who is both realistic and detail-oriented. He takes comfort in the accuracy of mathematics and the cold, hard realities that rule the universe. The disclosure caused significant waves to be transmitted via social media, which in turn prompted debates among fans as well as academics. The divergent perspectives on how science should be communicated became a focus point, as fans struggled to answer the issue of whether the universe is best comprehended through the prism of romanticism or analytical rigor. Cox replied with a signature charm and diplomacy when the news spread around the scientific community. He played down any tension that may have been perceived and emphasized the variety of perspectives that exist within the scientific community. 
He emphasized the significance of introducing the general public to the marvels of the world in a manner that can be understood by a variety of people, implying that the variety of ways can only serve to enhance the overall comprehension of the universe. Recently, Neil deGrasse Tyson disclosed that Brian Cox is actually not in fact an astrophysicist. This information was disclosed during an interview. Contrary to appearances, he's really a physicist who's been passing himself off as an astrophysicist for many years. As a result of this disclosure, there's been a great deal of debate in the scientific world, and many individuals have begun to doubt Brian Cox's professionalism and qualifications. This insight was revealed by Neil deGrasse Tyson when they were having a conversation about the distinctions between physics and astrophysics. In spite of the fact that the two disciplines are connected, he noted that they are not indeed the same. Astrophysics is a subfield of physics that focuses on the study of celestial bodies and the cosmos as a whole. It's a specialist discipline of physics. On the other hand, the study of matter and energy, as well as the interactions between them, is the focus of the field of physics. Following this, Neil deGrasse Tyson said that Brian Cox is a highly regarded physicist who has made major contributions to the area in which he pursued his research. At the same time, he's not an astrophysicist, and it's inappropriate to refer to him in that capacity. Because of this discovery, there's a great deal of uncertainty among those who are admirers of Brian Cox, and a great number of individuals are beginning to doubt his skill in the area of astrophysics. The response that Brian Cox has given to these charges is that he's never said that he is an astrophysicist. Since the beginning, he's never concealed the fact that he has a background in physics, and he's never said that he's an expert in astrophysics. The fact that he's worked on popular scientific shows like Wonders of the Universe and The Infinite Monkey Cage have led many people to believe that he's an astrophysicist, rather than what he really is. In spite of these disclosures, Brian Cox continues to be the subject of a great deal of respect within the scientific world. Through his work in television, he's made substantial contributions to the field of physics and has contributed to the dissemination of scientific knowledge. In spite of the fact that he's not an astrophysicist, he's nevertheless an acknowledged expert in physics and a major contributor to the scientific community. In the course of your time spent on YouTube, you could have come across a number of films in which Neil deGrasse Tyson discusses the contributions that other scientists have made to the field of science. However, what determines Neil deGrasse Tyson's credibility as a source of knowledge for other scientists? In the following paragraphs, we'll investigate the factors that contribute to the fact that Neil deGrasse Tyson is a reliable source of knowledge when it comes to scientific matters. First and foremost, Neil deGrasse Tyson is an astronomer himself, and he's made some important contributions to the area of astrophysics during his career. Additionally, he serves as a Frederick P. Rose Director of the Hayden Planetarium, which is located at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City, one of which being the Distinguished Public Service Medal from NASA, which is the highest award that can be presented to a citizen who is not affiliated with the government. The scientific community has acknowledged his contributions to the field of science, which establishes him as a trustworthy source of information for others in the scientific community. Second, Neil deGrasse Tyson has been actively engaging in the field of scientific communication for a considerable amount of time. The public broadcasting service series NOVA, Science Now, and the National Geographic channel Star Talk are just two examples of the many science-related programs and documentaries that he's presented. In addition, he's the author of a number of publications, some of which include Astrophysics for People in a Hurry and The Pluto Files, both of which are well-known science books that have contributed to the general public's ability to comprehend difficult scientific ideas. In the third place, Neil deGrasse Tyson is well known for his skepticism and critical thinking personality. As an outspoken opponent of pseudoscience and anti-scientific views, such as the Flat Earth Hypothesis and the denial of climate change, he's been vociferous in his criticism. When it comes to analyzing scientific claims and hypotheses, he's a dependable source of knowledge due to his ability to think critically and his skepticism. It must also be stated that Neil deGrasse Tyson is a supporter of outreach and education initiatives in the field of science. Through his participation in a number of programs that seek to promote scientific education and outreach, such as the Scientific Laureates Program, which is focused on advancing science education and outreach in the United States, he's actively participated in a variety of activities. As a result of his support for science education and outreach, He's a trustworthy source of information on other scientists who are also contributing to science education and outreach. Last but not least, Neil deGrasse Tyson is a well-known respected member of the public. 
Many news programs and talk shows, including The Daily Show and The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, have included him as a guest on their respective programs. Journalists often seek out his comments and insights on matters pertaining to science, which establishes him as a trustworthy source of knowledge for the general public. As a result of his contributions to the field of astrophysics, his engagement in the field of scientific communication, his support for science education and outreach, his critical thinking and skepticism, and his recognized public figure status, Neil deGrasse Tyson is a trustworthy source of information about other scientists. As a viewer of YouTube, you may put your faith in his observations and judgments on the contributions that other scientists have made to the scientific community. Now, since we found out more about Neil deGrasse Tyson, it's time to focus on the second participant of our video, Brian Cox. During his childhood, Brian Cox was a child of the space exploration era. He was born only one year before the first man stepped on the moon, and he spent his boyhood looking up at the night sky, thinking that one day he'd be able to fly to space himself without hesitation. On the other hand, when Brian became older, his interest shifted almost totally toward anything musical. He became a member of the local band Dare, where he played the keyboards, and he also started touring and recording songs with the band. As a result of Brian's lack of focus on his education during this period, he was unable to pass the mathematics portion of the college admission test. Following the dissolution of D.A.R.E. in 1991, Brian made the decision to reconsider his passion for astronomy. As he pursued his education in physics at the University of Manchester, he developed a strong fascination with the field of particle physics. After that, he was recruited to play keyboards for another band called Dream, which is a pop rock band that has hit songs in the United Kingdom. On this particular occasion, however, Brian's passion was in his study. When presented with the opportunity to go on a global band tour or to continue his education, he decided to leave Dream and pursue a doctoral degree in particle physics instead. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, Cox began his musical career as a keyboard player in pop bands. It was at this time he received his first widespread recognition. After that, he decided to pursue a career in the scientific field. In 2005, Cox was appointed to the post of Professor of Particle Physics at Manchester University, a position that he continues to occupy to this day. Between the years of 2005 to 2013, he served as a research fellow at the Royal Society University. He's a natural presenter and has featured in some scientific programs for the BBC, both on television and on the radio. Now, some of these programs include In Einstein's Shadow and the BBC Horizon series, Additionally, he's worked as a voiceover artist for the BBC's Bite Size Initiatives, which are educational programs for children. In the past, Cox has been a frequent host of the scientific show The Infinite Monkey Cage on Radio 4, which also features the comedic performance of Robin Ince. Brian is now working as a researcher at the European Organization for Nuclear Research, also known as CERN, which is the headquarters of the world's most powerful particle collider, the Large Hadron Collider, also known as the LHC. Particle collisions at the Large Hadron Collider provide sufficient energy to generate a wide range of subatomic particles. The investigation of these particles is essential to achieving a more comprehensive understanding of our world and the Big Bang. Despite his involvement in many LHC programs, Brian's primary focus is on the Atlas experiment. In the boundless universe of scientific inquiry, a new discovery by Neil deGrasse Tyson has shaken the stargazing community to its core. Tyson boldly risked betraying his colleague astronomer Brian Cox in an enthralling film, exposing shocking facts about him beyond the surface of their companionship. This discovery sets off a conversation that goes beyond the cosmic mysteries that they're both interested in understanding, and its effects go far beyond the lab. The small story starts with Tyson's signature zeal, as he eagerly prepares to reveal a cosmic secret, his eyes shining with pleasure. Viewers get entangled in a story of philosophical disputes and divergent views on the vast fabric of the cosmos as it progresses. Never one to sugarcoat things, Tyson details times when he and Cox disagreed. These disagreements went beyond the usual scientific arguments and manifested as a conflict of cosmic ideas hidden behind the public personalities. The audience was taken aback by the discovery, which cast doubt on the idea of a united scientific front, like a cosmic collision. The video elicited a strong and rapid reaction. Discussions, jokes, and arguments are bound on social media as fans and experts alike try to make sense of this discovery. 
the worldwide trending of hashtags like hashtag science debate and hashtag cosmic clash reflects the general interest in the dynamics of scientific conversation. The video's impact extended beyond the first shock and into a rekindled curiosity in the many different perspectives held by scientists. Viewers of Tyson and Cox's work were taken on a cosmological journey, wondering how the cosmos manages to be both lyrically beautiful and scientifically rigorous. Brian Cox, in his usual charming fashion, responded by recognizing the variations in approach and highlighting the value of varied viewpoints. The video's conclusion encouraged viewers to marvel at the universe in all its complex splendor, which is especially important in this age of increased demand for scientific information. In order to analyze the cosmic collision in detail, universities and scientific communication platforms set up panel discussions and invited specialists. A more complete comprehension of the cosmic dance that takes place above became possible as a result of the potential it presented to unite scientific reality with the romantic appeal of the unknown. New partnerships formed after the discovery, bringing together scientists with different points of view to study the universe. Astrophysicists, philosophers, and communicators reimagined the story of our cosmic voyage at scientific conferences that had previously served as venues for multidisciplinary debates. Not just in the scientific world, but also among the general public that is eager to understand the cosmos, the media's influence is still felt today. By revealing the terrible truth about Brian Cox, Neil deGrasse Tyson unintentionally sparked a paradigm shift, serving as a reminder that variety is the driving force behind our ever-expanding knowledge in the vast universe of ideas. Rather than causing division, the results spurred a more comprehensive investigation into the cosmic riddles that appealed to everyone. The question then becomes, what does the scientific community make of this discovery? Does it discredit Cox and other scientific communicators who want to reach the general public? Would it be wise to approach their claims and efforts with a more critical eye? All of these are reasonable concerns, but we must not lose sight of the fact that Cox has made an indelible mark in the field of scientific communication. Through his work, he simplified difficult scientific ideas for the general public and piqued the curiosity of many others. Having said that, let us not forget that genuine scientific inquiry is distinct from scientific communication. Even if Cox isn't a legitimate astrophysicist, he's done a lot of good work for science communication, and that's the most important thing. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.